Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, ipapakita namin sa inyo kung paano kami mag-let go ng anchor. At mag-discuss din ako about sa anchoring equipment. This vlog is to have a knowledge about the anchoring operation. Uunahan ko na po kayo, hindi pa po ako masyadong maalam or hindi ko pa talaga masyadong gamay ang pagbabarkod. Nagsisimula pa lang ako bilang isang deck cadet. Kung may mali man ako nasabi, pakicorrect na lang po ako, comment down below. Dahil I learned from my mistakes. Tao lang din po ako nagkakamali. So, hindi po tayo perfecto. So, first of all, what is the meaning of let go anchor? And what is the let go anchor procedure? So guys, hindi ko na papatagalin to in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
What are the types of anchoring equipment? Um, number one, anchor. Number two, chain cable. Number three, hose pipe. Number four, anchor lashing. Number five, chain stopper. Number six, wing glass. Number seven, drive unit system. Um, number eight, spurling pipe. And number nine, stain locker. Number one, anchors. Ancient anchors consisted of large stones, basket full of stone socks filled with sand or logs of wood loaded with lead. This held the vessel merely by their weight and by friction along the bottom. As ships became larger, they required a more effective device to hold them, and wooden hooks that dug into the sea bottom came into use as anchors. Iron replaced wood in their construction and teeth or flocks were added to help the hooks dig into the bottom. 
Number 2, Chain Cable. A principal task of the chain cable is to provide enough weight to ensure that the anchor ties horizontally on the seabed so that it provides maximum holding force. So, sa anchor chain nga pala, nagkakonsist siya ng 27.5 meters length of the stud, steel links known as shackles. Number 3, host pipe. The main function of the host pipe is to guide the chain from deck level to outside the shell plating. The host pipe should be constructed to a size large enough to accommodate the smooth running of the chain and to provide secure stowage of the anchor, permitting it to drop freely when released without jamming or risking damage to the hull structure. Number 4, Anchor Lashing Anchor Lashing is used to tighten secure the anchor when in the stowed position. A loose anchor can cause damage to shell plating and in a worst case situation could penetrate the hull and anchor lashing can be arranged in different ways. Although the most common is a wire or chain sling threaded through one of the chain links and secured by a bottle, bottle screw to the deck structure or the chain stopper. Another method is to use a claw, sometimes called a devil's claw, um, devil's claw hook on a one chain link and tighten with a bottle screw or alternative screw mechanism to the deck structure or the chain stopper. Number five, chain stopper. Um, there are two main reasons for installing a chain stopper. Number one is act as a guide for the chain into the host pipe and number two, when close, transfer the chain force in the ship structure. The design criteria specified by class is to withstand a force equal to 80% of the minimum braking load or MBL of the chain cable. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and share this video lalong lalo na sa mga nagsisimula lang din katulad ko. At huwag din natin kalimutan mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, Jose Marie Jesus. At i-click mo yung notification bell button para maging updated ka sa mga video uploads ko sa YouTube. Goodbye and God bless.